What's going on guys? It's the Blue Max Momar Fam coming at you with another video today and I'm doing something that has literally been requested for over a year now. And that is V8 on bearing. Now, let me explain one of the main reasons why I haven't used this. I want all of my Beyblades to have the same theme of using parts that nobody else uses. Everyone uses bearing, and uh, I just don't want to be like everyone else. I want to have fun with it. So, the combo is supercharged V8, 8 shift bearing. Uh, shift is for the original V8, which will be making a comeback in the relative near future. Um, let's get right into it. Testing first up against my other 3D printed Beyblade, Shatter Triple Thunder. No surprise. However, this does sort of fix my stamina issue. Now we have Wonder Valtriac 12 Volcanic. Also, I just realized this. V kind of looks like a, a lot like Variant Lucifer on this combo. And no surprise there. V8 landed a really good hit, got an easy burst finish. Now we have Turbo Achilles. We're going to up the power a little bit. Getting sick of this ripcord already. I messed that up a little, but we'll run with it. Another burst. What people don't realize is just how much attack power V8 has. Now we're going to bring out a fun little bay that I love to use on the side, and that is Thrasher V6. That is V6 for friction slingshock in its slingshock mode, which is also my 3D printed Beyblade. Another burst. It has ended all four battles with a burst finish. All right, now let's get the regular V6-5 hold in here. Which is also my 3D printed Beyblade. Now, V8 did kind of have a failed launch, so we will give him another try. V6, still a beast, still doing very well, as usual. There we go. Huge hits. V8 is defending very well. And V6 still takes it. All right, next up is my 3D printed Beyblade. Uh, Gunlock Wolg 1 under Jolt Slingshock. That was a bit of a snipe shot, but we'll call it there. Wolg, I really don't want to put through any more stress than I have to. Now let's get into the really hard-hitting ones. Karatomi Z Achilles 11 Extend Plus, which I have modified. Just remember, guys, V8 has had most of his burst stopping gimmick removed, so he is pretty vulnerable. Easy knockout, and we took a click from Achilles. So, so far. Uh, V6 is the only bay to get a point. Next up, ow, is Super Hyperion 1A Exceed. Alright. Take two.
Super Hyperion just kind of doing his own thing as usual. But we didn't get any good hits, so I'm going to redo that. So I really want to test V8. Huge hits. And <laughs> V8 is now spinning to the left. Ooh! Took half damage. Alright, so we did lose to Hyperion. Now I will be using my friend's 3D printed Beyblade. This belongs to Chad Files. Execution Nemesis 2.0. Zero Guillotine Hunter Slingshock. I'm using the 2.0 version because I, in my opinion, it fights better. And V8 takes it. So there you have it, guys. Actually, let's do a couple stamina battles because I do have a little extra free time. We will do it up against Belkesh. Ten bump atomic, or zero bump atomic first. I'm not sure where ten came from. Belkesh trying to get somewhere. Not succeeding. What? Did not see that coming. Surprise burst. I think this is the first time we've ever burst Belkesh. Well, me and V8, that is. Okay, so let's see. We burst him, burst him, burst him. Those were a burst. That was a burst. All right. Archer Hercules 13 Eternal. That is the wrong launcher. This is what I need. Pardon me as I make a slow descent into madness. What is happening? Archer Hercules has never burst until yesterday when Chad's execution nemesis got a one hit burst, and now V8 goes and bursts Archer Hercules in two hits? That's insane. And Archer Hercules is not broken. So we just legitimately burst him. Okay, uh, I am th considerably thinking about making this V8's new combo. Uh, what is this? Zutron. Uh... I am really thinking about making this V8's new combo. Uh, because its attack power has gone up. <laughs> I might be switching some of the combos around, guys. This gives me some ideas. So V8, er, Baron was originally planned for a dry, er, for a Beyblade called Rotary. But I also think that I might be, uh, if I can get Rotary made, uh, I may try to get, uh, Drift. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is about it. V8 lost to three Beyblades in this entire test. All to Stamina. We beat Nemesis, kind of surprised about that. We burst two Beyblades I never thought I would. Um... Yeah, this might be supercharged V8 from here on out. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more battle. I also did give a speech in the beginning of this video on how I don't like using parts that everyone else does. We're doing regular execution nemesis this time. Nemesis hits like no other bay, but still could not burst V8. Um... Okay. I retract my previous statement. This is Supercharged V8's brand new combo, 8 shift bearing. Uh, give me just a second. All right, I think I can work with this. Hold on, let me just try this. This Beyblade is not fit for battle. Okay. 
I've got a new plan, guys. Uh, the original V8 is now going to be on 8-clutch Octa. And the new V8, or the supercharged V8, is going to be on 8-shift bearing. Um, so yeah, the old, they're kind of swapping combos in a way, even though the original V8 was on 8-dash. Er, yeah, the original one was on 8-dash. Um... So, we are doing a frame, and we're not really swapping the discs, but you know what I mean, guys. We're doing a frame and kind of driver swap. Alright, guys, that is about it. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, hope this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.